Hi, I'm going to show you how to install SSH server on Tinyco Linux. Um, and I am also going to show you how to retain the configuration because uh, once you reboot the Tinyco Linux, uh, uh, by its default nature, it will uh, erase all the configuration because Tinyco Linux basically runs on the RAM. So here I have written all the steps to be executed on the Tinyco Linux. And I got here the Tinyco Linux for you. I'm going to execute these comments on this uh, uh, instance. Before we start, let's make sure a few um, connectivity like the first one is it got an IP address. It also has reachable to internet. Let's install the SSH server. W means uh, download, I means install. We are going to download and install the SSH server. Okay, great. It's installed now. And we also need to make sure that uh, the next step is we need to make sure that uh, this configuration file is available. Let's go to that location. Yes, this is also available. Let's view this configuration just to make sure that, okay. Yeah, the file contains all the necessary configuration. The next step is to start the SSH service. Okay. The previous step was to download and install. Now we are going to start the SSH service. Before we start, let's do one thing. Right. Um, let's make sure that SSH service is not running. Okay, so SSH server, SSH server is not running right now. SSH basically runs on the port 22, and uh, this server is not listening on this port 22. Okay, let's install. Let's start the SSH server now. Great. Let's execute this command again. Okay, so here if you see the command is specified here. This is to verify that uh, the server is listening on port 22. Yes, 22 is SSH port. As you see here, the server is now listening on port 22. The first one is for IPv4, the second one is for IPv6 because the network card supports both. As you see here, my network card supports both. Okay, that's why you see twice that. And uh, now, what we are going to do is uh, we are going to uh, store uh, these path uh, directories basically on this file. Okay, slash etc shadow as well. You can do in either way, so you can actually edit this file okay, and add this uh, path to the file, these two paths. Otherwise, you can uh, use this command. Okay, it's not supporting. Anyway, let's execute this command now.
okay what is this etc shadow this uh, we are going to create a, um, set a password for the root sudo su as you see that uh, one i'm now switch to root user i'm going to set a password password has changed now okay this is for the SSH and this is for the password so the next step is uh, to verify that uh, the boot step uh, has saved all these parts to this file Has successfully saved the um, the configurations. Okay. The next step is uh, you know we need to uh, configure in boot local dot sh file so that uh, whenever the tiny code Linux reboot, the SSH service will automatically start, and you don't need to do do it manually every time. Okay. For that, you need to edit this. Uh, local dot okay space yeah and then press uh, I and then start so this command is basically uh, to start the SSH service so once you uh, write this uh, command on the boot local.ssh file, it's going to execute at the time of booting the tiny code Linux. WQ, colon WQ, exclamation mark. Let's go back and see if the uh, change that we made is written to boot local.ssh. all done now so we added the path and uh, we also make sure the password is saved and and we also added uh, in the boot local file so that the SSH service can start automatically uh, the final step is to back it up It's also done so this is a script given you can find a default in the tiny code line next to back it up okay if you don't do that uh, the, the changes whatever you did are not going to be retained okay let's reboot it and see if uh, ssh service comes up automatically let's give some time So now let's, let's close this. Let's check that uh, SSS server is up. Great. So as you see, even after you reboot, uh, the SSS service is um, running automatically. You don't need to do anything. Right. OK let's uh, do one more thing one final step let's install putty right in another tiny code linux and see if we are able to connect to the ssh server so we installed the ssh on this server it's acting as a ssh server now now we are going to install putty in this server
Lovely. So once put is successfully installed, you will find a shortcut here. Let's go here and I know the IP address uh, 100.1 so on so on. Click open. Click accept. I set a password so root password. That's it. We are now connected to the SSH server. So from here we have successfully connected to this server. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.